Hello friends, my name is Joy Desai and I am the Director of Neurology at the Jaslok Hospital. Today I am here to speak to you about the importance of sleep in brain health. We all take our sleep for granted, but we must understand that sleep is not just a abeyance of wakefulness. In my view, sleep is actually a medication. Because when we are sleeping, the brain is doing a lot of things which is important for overall health. Sleep has many functions. The key one, which you may not know, is to consolidate memory. So all our daytime experiences are consolidated and replayed in our brains at night so that it's easy for the brain to retrieve them without an effort the next time that it's needed. Sleep is important for emotional salience and health because all our traumatic experiences that we may experience in the day, they get modulated and depotentiated at night so that when we take on the day the next day, our emotions are stable again. Sleep is important for a metabolic servicing of the entire body via brain related functions. So what sleep does is that it recalibrates our respiration, our heart rate, our blood pressure. It, it, it helps the body to maintain uh, the blood sugar levels and to maintain bodily fat. So it may surprise you, but if we diet and exercise and we are not losing weight, one of the common reasons for that can be sleep deprivation. This optimum sleep is required for management of blood glucose, blood pressure and our fat stores. Sleep is also relevant for maintaining our immune system and making sure that our immune system is, is competent because it recalibrates and enhances uh, a cell line called natural killer cells, very vital for immune competence. In today's age, often people think that if we sleep less and sleep longer in the morning, we can catch up. But it's not really true. Sleeping late may not be good for your brain because the brain is wired to sleep four and a half hours from sunset and it's wired to wake up with the sunrise. And it is only with this circadian timing that sleep health and sleep related physiological function is well maintained. It's important to know that about 10 years ago we discovered that the brain has a sleep related cleaning system which is exclusively to sleep. This cleaning system works only when we are asleep and ceases to function when we are awake. This is known as the glymphatic system and we now have scientific evidence to show that it removes proteins which could be potentially harmful to the brain. Proteins like amyloid, tau and others. There is a lot of new research which links sleep health with the risk or higher risk of developing dementia in older age. And therefore, it is vital for sleep to be preserved with the clear notion that it is actually a medication, but it does not come in a bottle. If we make measures to enhance and maintain a good sleep hygiene, then our overall health is enhanced. So what should one do? Keep a regular timing so that the body's rhythms remain stable. So try and sleep at an optimum time roughly by 10, 10, 30 every night and wake up with the sunrise. Stimulants like tea and coffee are best consumed before 3 p.m. because coffee has a long half-life and can keep one awake and can make sleep quality a little shallower. Avoid large amounts of alcohol before going to bed because alcohol can disrupt sleep physiology and can make it suboptimal. When we exercise, we ought to exercise in the mornings and not late in the evenings because it produces alerting neurochemicals in the brain that may interfere with optimum sleep. Try and finish your meal times by about three hours before sleep time so that Sleep physiology is optimal. 
if we maintain such simple hygienic measures for sleep, it is likely that our sleep cycle and its beneficial effects on overall health will stay good. Thank you.